Welcome back, Math Party people. Anderson here, your math coach. So in the previous videos, we've been doing order of operations. We did two steps, we did three steps. And now in this video, we're gonna be looking at four and more steps. So remember this, everybody. We've been talking about this, and the main way to get over the whole headache of, hey, what do I do first, is to get practice and to also basically analyze before you do. So I'm gonna show you a few examples here, maybe about eight examples total here. We're gonna go through them all. And then remember, if you're in our course, that you're gonna go ahead and have the worksheet, speed drills, everything else that you need to really master this. So take advantage of that, that way you can keep growing. So checking this out here, we're taking a look at this first one and we see that we have negative eight, there's a parentheses here and you got all this inside. So remember, when it comes to parentheses, that's the first thing that you do. So taking a look here, I'm saying, hey, that 27 divided by three, that division is what's gonna happen first. So the division is what's going to happen first. And then notice that after that, all I have is addition and subtraction. So we can just go ahead and take care of that right after. And then afterwards, we can go ahead and multiply by that negative eight. So now I have a nice solid plan. Take care of the division, do all the addition, subtract the stuff, multiply by negative eight. That is way better than having no plan at all, my math party people. So let's go ahead and get started here. 27 divided by three, that's going to be nine. So repeating everything that we have, We'll have negative eight times negative seven plus nine. And one thing that I also notice is that when you subtract a negative, you're adding. So I can go ahead and take care of that right now, actually. Plus, and then 27 divided by three, that was gonna end up being nine. So we have our party set up over here. We have negative seven plus nine plus nine. Remember that when you have a negative number plus another number, you can move the order around. So I hope that you've learned that at this point, but if not, make sure to go back into those previous videos. Negative seven plus nine plus nine, same thing as saying nine plus nine minus seven. Same exact thing. So that'll be 18 minus seven, which is 11. And so you have negative eight times 11, which is gonna be negative 88, and we are good. So again, I'm gonna show you eight total examples in this video. Let's go ahead and get into this next one here. So we have this over here. Now again, don't get freaked out by how many steps you have to do. Just worry about what the first, second-ish steps are gonna be. Just kind of browse through it and notice that we have a group here divided by that group here. So take care of this parentheses, take care of that parentheses, then divide. So again, it could be four steps, five steps, I don't care. You know, we just have to make sure we know what the steps are and then go one at a time. Keep it nice and simple. So here, one plus two minus nine. So at this point, one plus two, you know, that's gonna be three. And then three minus nine, that's negative six. So instantly, we should be able to go ahead and get that down right away very quickly. And then we have divided by, and then we have negative three times negative two. A negative times a negative is a positive. Three times two is six. So we have negative six divided by six, which is going to be negative one. So again, take care of this one step at a time. Analyze very briefly before you do. Take five, ten seconds. Let's go ahead and dive on in here into another set here that goes over a different set. So we're looking at fraction bars as well. So let's say we're taking a look at something like 27. So something like 27, hey, again, still analyze. Remember that when it comes to fractions, the numerator is its own group, the denominator is its own group. So let's go ahead and take care of it that way. So we're gonna have 19 plus nine, which is 28. 28 minus seven is 21. So right now we have 21 divided by negative three, all minus eight. All right, 21 divided by three, that's seven, but a positive divided by a negative, that's gonna be a negative seven. And then from there, negative seven minus eight, you're already negative, going more negative, that's negative 15. And there we go, that's A is the answer. Let's take a look at another example here. So again, if you just got done doing the three-step operations, which you should go back and watch it if you haven't, notice that this is just one more step. Really what makes things complicated is really just how many little steps you're dealing with. So let's go ahead and go to something like, let's say, Let's see if we can find something. There we go, 32. This was nice. When I check this out, here's some little things that I noticed immediately. Because look, I'm looking at this live with you. So here's some little things I noticed. We have a double negative right there. And we have a group in the denominator that we've got to take care of as well. All right, cool. So that double negative in that numerator, that double negative, that negative 16 minus negative 9, that's just going to be negative 16 plus 9. And then in the denominator, we have negative 3 minus, and then negative eight minus two is negative 10. 
Remember my math party people, acing the ASVAB is not just about watching me do it. It's better that you practice as well. It's about watching, practicing, and mastering the material. And the best way to do that is to start off with my free practice test because it comes with video solutions so you can try it out yourself, see all the mistakes that you've made, and then keep raising your score with those video solutions, organizing yourself so you can lower that test anxiety and raise your score. No excuses, it's completely free. So go ahead and click the link there or in the description. That way you can get started, raise your score, and do everything you need to do. Let's ace the ASVAB, but let's get back to the problem after you're done signing up. And so then from there, minus negative, that's gonna be plus 10. So we have negative 16 plus nine over negative three plus 10. And so then from here, you just keep taking care of business. Negative 16 plus nine, that's the same thing as 16 minus nine, but the negative version of it. So that'll end up being negative seven. And then negative three plus 10 is a positive seven. So negative seven divided by seven is negative one, and that would be A as your answer. So remember, my part of people, the point of this is to be able to do this with that calm, cool, and collected manner and demeanor, understanding that once you point out the steps, it's one step at a time. You're not doing five multiplications or additions or subtractions at once, it's one at a time. So let's go ahead and go over here to number 50 here. Let's see what else we got. So let's take a look at a five step problem. So over here, we have negative and then we have 16 all over this entire group here. All of this. So I noticed that negative right there. Don't forget it. Kind of just point it out if you need to. That way you don't forget that at the end, whatever your answer is, make it negative. Here we go. So what we have going on my math part of people, we have ourselves five minus four. So that's going to be one. So we have negative 16. So it's going to be one. Then we have a minus negative, minus negative. That's going to be plus the 10 and then minus nine. Okay. One plus 10 is 11. 11 minus nine is two. So we end up having over here, negative 16 all over two, which is going to be negative eight. And that's D. So my mistake, this was not five steps. These are going to be five steps now. So let me go ahead and show you some of these. So 51, we got negative six plus two plus two times two plus nine plus nine. This might seem complicated, but it really is not. Remember, you're gonna do grouping and exponents first, which we don't see any of those. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and take care of the multiplication and division from left to right. The only multiplication that I see, right there. So I'm literally gonna rewrite it, negative six plus two plus four plus nine plus nine. All right, sweet. And then from there, my math part of people, what we're gonna do is just go left to right and add this thing up nice and easy. And you can actually go in whatever order you want to, as long as you make sure to keep that six a negative and you're fine. So if I wanted to, I can go and say, hey, nine plus nine, 18, 22, 24, and then back to 18. And there's my answer. Or if you wanted to and you're comfortable with negatives, negative six plus two, negative four. Negative four plus four cancels out. Nine plus nine is 18. Again, either way you want to do it, it's all good. You got this. Going here into number 52 taking care of business here. I see that we have a group here, a group there. We're going to be dividing those results. And then at the end, we'll take away that one. But again, you have to split it up into the sections here. So negative five times five, that's going to be negative 25. And then we're going to be dividing by whatever one plus two minus eight is. One plus two is three, three minus eight or eight minus three is five, but it's going to be a negative five because you're taking away more than you have. So that's going to be right there, negative five. And then we take away one. So in this case, what we're going to have is negative 25 divided by negative five, negative divided by negative is positive. And so we have five right there minus one, which is four. And so with that confidence and that, that calm, cool and collected demeanor, doesn't matter what kind of problem you're looking at. I'm looking at all of these live with you. I'm gonna go to the last uh, uh, different part here where we might have fractions involved like this. But again, Nothing's changing, everybody. Nothing's changing. I'm going to do two more here, but again, nothing is changing. If you can do three steps, you can do four steps and five steps. No problem at all. Here we go. So I point out my group right over here, and I also notice that we have a minus negative, a double negative, so we're adding. So this becomes seven plus two plus six, and that ends up becoming 15. Seven plus two is nine, nine plus six is 15. So we have negative nine minus 15, and then we're going to be subtracting. 16 over eight. So we're gonna do division real quick because again, a fraction is division. 16 divided by eight is two. So we have negative nine minus 15 minus 
2. And then from there, we just subtract and we're done. Negative 9 minus 15, that's going to be negative 24. Negative 24 minus 2, negative 26. And we are set. Let's go ahead and try to find another one here. Let's try to find one with an exponent somewhere. Let's see. Let's see. Give me an exponent somewhere. Give me an exponent somewhere. Do we not have any exponents in this one? I'm sure we'll find one somewhere. Wow, looks like there are no exponents. There we go. Finally. All right, so let's take care of this my math party, people. So with something like this, like number 90, again, we have our group that we'll take care of first, and then we have an exponent right there. 27 divided by 3, that's going to be 9. That's going to be 9. And 9 squared is 81, right there. So something that looked complicated with a fraction and an exponent turned out to be pretty straightforward. So now over here, let's keep it going. Minus negative 2 plus 7, that's going to be positive 5. So 81 minus 5 is going to be 76. 76 plus 2 is 78, and we're good. So again, my math party people, that was about, what, nine examples so far? I can go ahead and do one more. Look, at the end of the day, what's most important is our ability to take a look at what's going on and make the right decisions. That's really it. So check this one out, my math party people. Here we have two groups, and let me ask you again, what's happening between these two groups? Multiplication. So we're going to take care of each group individually and then multiply the results. So over here, we have negative 25 over 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5, so that'll be negative 5. Negative 5 plus, and then we have 3 times 9. So 3 times 9, that's going to end up being 27. So what we end up having is negative 5 right over here plus 27. So notice how we had division right here and multiplication right there that we take care of one by one. And so, whether this is your first or 50th YouTube video of mine, it doesn't matter. Why don't you join me for a live class? That way you can ask questions, raise your score, and get the job you want for free. Again, I host classes once a week on Zoom, typically on Mondays. So go ahead and click the link up there or down here somewhere, register for free, and you get my free practice test that has video solutions so you can learn from every mistake. That's what it's all about here, my party people. I want to help you succeed, so don't hesitate. Sign up for free, and then let's get back to this problem here. Let's keep raising our scores. So from there, negative 25 or negative 5 plus 27 is 22. Now over here, what I noticed on the right side, we got a double negative. So that ends up turning into negative 2 plus 1, which ends up becoming negative 1. And so 22 times negative 1 is negative 22. That's C, and we're all done. Again, my math part of people, at the end of the day, Four steps, five steps, seven steps, it's really all one and the same when you think about, hey, what's the first step, second step, and then beyond from there. And if you need to reset yourself after one of the steps to really analyze again, do your thing. It's really gonna be up to you. So my Porter people, at the end of the day, remember, order of operations is really just about understanding the procedure, performing it the right way, understanding that multiplication and division are the same operation, and you read those left to right. And so with that said, hopefully you have fun here. I want to see you move forward where we have decimals lined up and algebraic expressions as well to camp to tackle. So I'll see you there, my math party people. I'll see you there. I'll see you there. And let's keep raising that score. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works but you're gonna get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.